all, we welcome you back to the Global Simulation Sports Network YouTube channel as we get you set for a matchup featuring the Honolulu Toa and the Louisville Cobras. Jordan Smith here on the call, welcoming you back to the GSSN YouTube channel. A good matchup here tonight between the two sides, the Cobras coming off of a big victory to kick off the league with an 82-57 victory against the Goats of Chicago. Meanwhile, the Koa getting a huge win in their last game, 104-95, the victory there against the Piranhas. So both of these teams looking to capitalize on some already early momentum here to start the season. Both teams meeting at midcourt as we get set and ready for tip-off here between the two sides. Tip one by Jones, and Honolulu will start things off with possession. Max Hill, Key Carter in the starting lineup, as well as Dwayne and Davis Kane. The five out there for Koa as they take the early 2 0 lead. Here are the Cobras now. Well, Brock. Well, the shooting foul called on Key. That'll be his first of the game. And Will Brock will head to the free throw line for two. At the line for two. Hungwell, Anson, Will Brock, Castle, and Smith. The starting five for the Cobras here in the early going as the first free throw will fall. First points on the board for Louisville here in this one. That first game to kick off league play was a big one for Louisville getting to play at home and getting the big victory as that one falls. And here comes Dwayne down the court with it, the star player for Honolulu. Maxiel with it for three. That one off the mark, rebound by Castle. Time ball game at two, just over eight minutes left to go in the opening quarter. Castle hands out to Wall, Brock turn around three off the back of the rim. Maxie with the board. He'll take it down the court, slow it down a little bit to let his offense reset. Now here's Carter on the outside. You see there against Jacksonville, seven of 11 from the field with 21 points. And seven assists for Maxie. Basket made there. Making a two point lead once again for Honolulu. Smith with it on the baseline, and a foul is called. Looks like a reach in. In fact, is it a coach called on Jones? Second, his first of the game. Team second already in the early going. Talking about Max Seals' points uh, performance a little bit, we said the 21 points and the seven assists. Also collected three blocks, and in that seven of 11 shooting, which is good for 64 percent, he went six of eight from deep. Hungwell will get the floater to fall. It tied up once again. You saw they're talking about Castle's performance. Getting 20 points in the ball game against Chicago to kick off league play. Nine of 14 from the field and Key with the big dunk there to retake the lead you see there on the slam cam replay. A little bit of a posterization of the star player for the Cobras and Smith. Definitely not going to want to wake up to Twitter tomorrow morning. Is that one stolen on a cross-court pass? Looked like he was trying to go to Hungwell. Carter just in front of the elbow. He'll kick it back outside. Back and forth to go. Ten seconds inside. Twain and gets that one to fall. And Honolulu starting off with a strong lead, eight to four, here in the early going against a team who did really well defensively in their first game against the Piranhas. Here comes Asen down the lane here. And that one off the mark. Maxiel with another board. Carter just inside the three-point line and gets that one to fall. Number five. A six-point lead here in this one. And folks, if you can imagine it, in the first two games, this is the first time the Cobras have trailed in these first two games in team history. Hungwell trying to answer, but no go on the basket. 
So good interior defense there looked like by Key. Now Honolulu looking to bring it up to what could be an eight point lead and it will be thanks to the finger roll layup there. And it's now a 12 to four ball game. Louisville's gotta find some answers here otherwise this could get pretty ugly pretty quick. Here's Castle for three off the back of the rim. Carter hand off to Jones. Nine seconds on the shot clock inside. Jones. Two one-handed slam. Carter. Already seven of eight from the field and in that. A couple of dunks as well. And timeout called. Obviously, the Cobras need to figure something out as they're down by 10, the largest deficit all season long. Back here on the Global Simulation Sports Network YouTube channel, a 10-point lead for the Honolulu Koa against the Louisville Cobras. Jordan Smith here on the call as well. Brock and the Cobras try to bounce back, but a good interior defense there with a block from Key. You see there are no points. The last two and a half minutes and another slam for Honolulu. They have turned on the Jets here early and have really come out strong. Well, Brock can't get that one to fall. Seems like there's just a lid on the rim whenever they're able to actually get it to the rim. Not able to get their shots to fall. Not a good way to start the ball game. Here's Dwayne, gets the three. And folks, here's another interesting stat. With the 19 points that Honolulu has right now, that's the most amount of points that Louisville has allowed in a single quarter. They didn't allow more than 18 points in a single quarter against the go to Chicago in game one of league history as that one will fall to get things going again, made by Will Brock on the baseline. 19 to six, four minutes left to go. At another three, 22 to six now, Honolulu has absolutely destroyed any kind of defensive play so far for Louisville. Alleyoop and Temp Hungwell gets the reception and he banks it off the glass for two. It's a crowded in a little bit as they have some substitutes in the offer. Here's Max Seal now with it. Inside, and a shooting foul looks to be called on Asen. First foul on the Cobras, he can't believe the foul's called. And it'll be two free throws for Maxiel. Maxiel, at the line for two. Two shots, last on the Free throw up and good. You see substitutions for both sides. Just a reminder, if you have not done so yet, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when every single Premier Simulation Basketball League game goes live right here on the Global Simulation Sports Network YouTube channel. Still two for two on the trip there. And a 24 to 8 lead. Max Seal really continuing things from where he left off in that last game against Jacksonville. As I mentioned earlier, led the team with 21 points, and now a blocking fault is called on Kida. Just for a shot, you see there, Key has been huge inside. Leave already with two or three blocks in the game itself. So he has really found a way to make his presence known. 
against a very, very strong team in Louisville. Six seconds on the shot clock. Here's Whitehead with it. Just in front of the elbow, that one falls. The Cobras finally in double digits. Vito baseline. That one won't go off the teardrop. Maybe a little bit of contact on the shot. No call, though. Canway, 4-3. There's a little bit of that crowd, 24-13. The score, Honolulu still ahead by quite a bit. Two and a half minutes left to go here in the first. Williams Jr. with it, four seconds, three seconds. He'll have to figure something out here. Shoots from deep in the last second, won't go. Two minutes left to go in the first. Here's Canway. He'll try to drive, kick it outside. Thinking the defense would collapse him, but didn't go. Whitehead won't make it. Two free throws coming up here for the Cobras. Shooting for Louisville. Whitehead. Two shots. It's already something interesting to look at here. Four fouls early on by Honolulu, just in the first quarter alone. And that's something to kind of watch for as the game goes on, whether that trend continues, whether they're able to slow down their own fouling in this ball game. So far, they really have not been able to in the first almost eight minutes of this one. Off the mark there, loose ball, and recovered, it looked like, by Lance. Agmon with it, and that one won't fall. Quinn inside, turnaround. Canway backs up, resets. Here's Bradley to Canway. Had a three earlier, but this time off the mark. Mom with it, and he's stolen by Whitehead on the interception. Up ahead to Bradley, he'll go for the shot, won't fall. Davis Kane called for the foul, his first. That'll be two free throws coming up for Louisville. Shooting for Louisville, Bradley taking two shots. Already Louisville in the bonus. Here in the Shoot early two. onset of the ball game. But being it for the final 118 of the quarter. That one off the mark here. Not really something you want to do if you're already down by 10 early on. Because already have the struggles that you're having. Remember, Honolulu is a very good offense in this league. Being able to get over 100 points against Jacksonville as that one misses. Getting 104 in that victory against the Piranhas in their last matchup. See there the free throw comparison. Evans Jr. Short distance, won't go. Canway with the board, under a minute left to go in the quarter. Honolulu on a little bit of a sc scoring drought of their own with two and a half minutes since their last basket. As that one goes in and out. Bradley on the shot attempt. Davis Kane passing it off to Evans Jr. One off the mark. Out of bounds. And Honolulu will get possession. An interesting call there. I guess a good one though is that is he definitely did have his foot on the line. Now foul is called on Canway. Call a blocking foul here. He does not look pleased. Fouls galore here in the first quarter of play. On both sides. Oh, 
Inside entry pass wall goes, stolen by Mitchell. Here's Whitehead. Shot clock turned off. Off the mark on the shot. Foul called, second on Evans Jr. And two free throws coming to the free throw line for Louisville. Shooting for Louisville. Whitehead at the line for two. Shooting two. one going in to make it a single digit ball game for the first time in what's felt like quite a while already for Louisville so far in the early going. 17 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Whitehead second free throw in and out. More than likely Honolulu will hold on and Takanwe will steal it. Then a block by Evans Jr. So the Koas will end up getting possession after all. What a sequence of events there in the last couple of seconds. Evans Jr. baseline, one second left off the glass and rattles out. And that does it for the end of the first quarter. Honolulu with an early and commanding 24 to 15 lead. Nine points ahead of Louisville. We come back on the Premier Simulation Basketball League. Inbounding to get quarter number two underway. Jordan Smith here on the call for this one. As Smith will start things off with a three here in the second. That's a start you need if you're Louisville here. Try to get something going. Right now, Honolulu has stayed strong on the offensive side. Try to do it again here. And a good job deflecting the alley-oop attempt, but it does go out of bounds and stays in favor of Honolulu. Seal with it, eight seconds now on the shot clock. Five seconds, four seconds. Dwayne fade away, that one blocked. And Quinn with the rebound off the block. Rock back to the top. Looks like Hungwell coming in as a sub in a bit. As that one rattles in for three. And Smith has brought it back to within three just off a couple of three-pointers. Crowd getting into it here now in this one. That one rejected. Here comes Louisville. Corner three, got it! Castle with a three to tie it up. The huge assist there by Welbrock. The Cobras have come alive to start the second quarter of play, and it has mainly been led by the play of their star player in Jordan Smith. There's another rejection. A rejection by Aeson. Here's a three attempt. Dwayne not able to get it. Quinn with, on, with it on the rebound. Louisville looking for their first lead in the ball game. All they need to do is make a basket here. a three, here's the lead. Honolulu with the timeout. As a three was made there to take the lead. Louisville on top by three now. And in what has been a fast start to the second quarter. Seems like that rest in the first quarter did some good for the Louisville starters. So we welcome you back here on the broadcast for the first time today. Well, never mind. I was going to say for the first time today, Louisville has the lead. Now they have the lead. It's a big three there by Honolulu out of the timeout. That's what you want to see as Hungwell now checks into the ball game. Dishes it to Smith. Turn around, fade away, off the glass for two. He's in there putting his hand up to his ear. Wanting to hear it from the crowd as he is trying to will his team back to the lead and the crowd once again back into it and a foul on Aesop. First team foul. That 
is a foul for him. Not on the shot, though. Inbound from the side for Honolulu. That one's stolen. Asan with it. Castle inside Smith. Very close to three seconds there. Able to get out just in time, though, it looks like, according to the referees. Inside dish to Hungwell from Castle. Goes up with it. Basket good. Up by four now. And Hungwell with six points. Carter inside, tries to go up and under. It is fouled on the shot. Castle called for his first. And that's two free throws coming up for Carter. Carter, if I'm not mistaken, is the first player in league history with the double-double and the team's victory against the Piranhas. Got, him to, got himself 16 points and 12 assists in the victory against Jacksonville. Also led, though, on the other side of things with five turnovers. So definitely a guy who's going to have the ball in his hands a lot and has seemed to was a little sloppy with it, but when you put it up against the 12 assists as well, it's kind of hard to fight it one way or the other. But either way, he had himself a very good performance. Like I said, first player in league history, if I'm not mistaken, with a double-double. Free throw goes, and back to a two-point ball game. Castle with it now. Nine seconds, he'll go for three, and he'll make the three. Five-point lead for Louisville. Carter with it, as the crowd gets louder. Dwayne, good inside pass. And Dwayne able to finish it home with a one-handed slam. And it's a one-possession ball game. Will Brock with it. And that one in and out, toilet bowls around. Carter called for the foul. Should be two free throws coming up here for Wellbrock. And in fact, will be. Shooting for Louisville. Number 20. Two shots. 34, 31, 507 left to go. Shooting two. In the first half of play. Good. Five point lead here off the two for two trip. Five minutes left to go in the first half. Here's Carter. Trying to drive inside. He'll back up. Now to drive again. He kiss it off the glass for two to bring it back to within one possession. Nine points for him already off a perfect 100% shooting from the field. Three for three in the ballgame so far. Well, Brock. Top, just next to the logo. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Tries to drive inside, lose the ball instead. Aeson gets it, gives it back to Wellbrock. They try to drive again, loses it. Aeson, right as the shot clock was about to expire, somehow kisses it off the glass for two. And it's back to a five point lead for Louisville. What a sequence of events we just witnessed as the crowd wills their team to help on defense. Jones with it though, rejected by Smith. He'll get his own rebound, goes up again. And second chance effort, that's what it's all about right there. As Louisville will take a timeout, their second so far in the ball game. To discuss things here, they have the lead by three. Four minutes left in the first half, and we come back on the Global Simulation Sports Network.
Good showing on hand here tonight for game two in Louisville. A three-point lead for the Cobras. They've had themselves a very good second quarter. And granted, when you compare it to what happened in the first, it's, it's automatically going to be better. You see there's his substitutions, more than likely on both sides, as Bradley gets the inbound. Start things off here. Looks like a good amount of the Honolulu players stayed in. Smith inside. Ace on outside. And that one inside the basket for three. Six-point lead for Louisville. Junior now will try to drive it in. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Jones, three. Good response right there as it brings it back to a one possession game. If Louisville's gonna have any chance in this ball game, they need to try to match the offensive output that Honolulu brings. Like we said, we saw that the 104 to 95 victory over Jacksonville. This is a team who can score and who can score at will. Cobra's only managing 82 points in their first victory. They're going to have to work on that a little bit. Is that one inside? Can't wait with the dunk. Two-handed slam. That's a five-point difference once again. Carter, baseline. That one off the mark. Bradley with the board. Tries to drive it inside, he does, reject it out of bounds. Louisville keeps possession, a good job there on the interior defense. On the block there from Carter, there's a couple substitutions who will make their way in. Three actually, Ogmon, Lance, and Keita find their way into the ball game. Some substitutions for the Cobras as well. Only one, Mitchell will check in for Asan. Canway will get the inbound from Smith. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Outside, Smith at the top, four seconds, three seconds. He'll have to shoot it from three off the front of the rim. So no violation, but not a great shot either. This Kane will think about driving it. Kick it outside. Good behind the back there from Ogmon, but not able to get that one to fall. Two minutes left to go in the first half here. 43 to 38 the score. Louisville in the lead. Smith, wide open. And that one off the rim. That's something you don't usually see. A wide open three for Smith not going in. Honolulu getting a little bit lucky there on the tiny bit of lack of days in gold defense. You see there are 12 blocks and seven steals in the last game for the Koa. This game will drive it off the back of the rim. Smith gets the pass from Whitehead. Now Mitchell with it. Smith tries again. This time makes it. Eight point lead for Louisville. Smith led the way for the Cobras last game with 23 points on eight of 14 shooting with five of those eight out of six attempts from deep. Five of those six from deep going in. That is a mark of a true shooter right there. And that's something that we'll have to watch. He's already continued that as Canway gets the basket to make it a 10 point ball game here. 40 seconds and counting left to go in the first half. Thing is, like we've already mentioned, the Koas have some good shooters. There's one of them just rattled in and out at Evans Jr. They have a lot of good shooters on that team. Mitchell from mid-range won't go. A lot of quick back and forth here, but it now gives Louisville an opportunity to have one more possession. About three or four seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Step back won't go for Evans Jr. Ten seconds now. Mitchell across the timeline, gets it to Canway. Gets the pick, goes to the right side. Here's Smith with it. Has to turn around, shot, that one in and out. That'll do it for the first half of play. Louisville have bought their way back and head into the locker room with a 10-point lead thanks to that man in a good majority. 48-38 when we come back here on the Global Simulation Sports Network.
back here to get things going. Smith here on the call. 48-38, the score here as we start half number two between the Louisville Cobras and the Honolulu Koa, and already some good defensive play as that one stolen by Dwayne. And a foul to dunk attempt. Carter will head to the free throw line. Nissan called for the foul. At the line for Honolulu, Carter. Koa will try to get things going. Like you saw there, the key players so far in the ball game. Carter, one of them, nine points, 100% shooting. The other guy in Smith, 11 points for him. A very high mark from three already so far. You see the Thunder Six not working this time as that one will fall for Carter for the charity strike. And just a reminder to Subscribe to the Global Simulation Sports Network YouTube channel. A lot of great content coming up for the Premier Simulation Basketball League. So if you haven't had a chance to do so yet. Subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. Make sure you stay tuned for all the action. Here's Wellbrock for three. A little bit of a weird shot there. I'm not sure why he had a jump like that. Kind of a sidestep or a side jump, if you will. Well, it remains an eight-point ball game. Eight and a half minutes left to go in the third. Maxio backs up seven seconds. How about going a couple times against Smith? Now he'll try to drive inside. And somehow the shot clock, even though it hit zero, did not go off. They avoided a 24-second violation. Shot got blocked either way. Now stolen by Key as Hungwell tried to dribble down low. Shot for three, Max Seal with three. Three. Big shot fit there from the small forward. It's a five point difference. Smith to Welbrock. Castle outside, eight seconds on the shot clock. Six seconds, five seconds, he'll back up. Brian be the one to shoot. Yes, he will pump fake that one blocked. A shot clock violation. Honolulu with possession. We'll take a look here at a block from earlier from Carter. That's something that this Honolulu team has already done so well in this ball game. The interior defense that they have played has been very, very strong thus far. with it. Key. Go around. Wayne with it. The crowd getting into it. Maxio from the top won't go. Hungwell towering over everybody. Him and his afro gets the board. Nissan with it now. And that one's stolen off the interception by Key there. Good defense once again. Maxio baseline in and out. He's on with the board. Alley Uba Tep Smith with the dunk. Seven point lead for the Cobras. Alley Uba getting to respond. No dunk, but still goes in for Dwayne. And it's a two possession ball game. Louisville calls timeout. Louisville with the timeout. They've already taken quite a few here so far. I believe it's already number three for them. Just Defense, one taken so far from Honolulu. So we'll take a break with them. 6-19 left in the third. Five-point lead for the Cobras. The inbound as we restart play here. 50 to 45 is the score. Cobras ahead of the Koa. Jordan Smith here on the call as Castle steps back and won't make it. Goes on board though. I think the shot gets fouled. First team foul. Carter got called for the foul, so the free throw will be coming up for Louisville. For number 13. 
at the line for two. Will be at the free throw line. Carter will get his second foul called of the two ball shots. game here. 6.04 left to go in the third. Free throw goes to make it a six point game. Fans don't forget to tune in to the Jordan Smith Show every Tuesday on Spotify and Apple Podcast. A little bit of a shameless plug here, but be sure to tune in with myself, Luke Scott, and Colin Neal as we give you all the latest in the week's action of sports every Tuesday at 11 a.m. again on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Second free throw goes, 52-45 the score. Six minutes left to go in the third. Jones, baseline. Try to drive towards the baseline, and Smith gets called for a shooting foul. At the line for Honolulu. Now the two free throws coming up for two for Jones. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First foul of the game for Smith. Only had a couple in the game against the Goats. That one falls. Six point difference here in the ball game. Six minutes left to go in the third as that one goes. Now a five point difference. You see there the difference. Free throws. As that one's made by Will Brock from the corner. Three pointer goes to bring it back to an eight point lead. Once the scoring started happening in that second quarter for Louisville. Really turned on the Jets. It's been close a few times. But really hasn't been the same as Carter puts it back with a dunk. And he himself now has 16 minutes of play and 13 points. Of 67% shooting. He himself is having a very good night. And so is that man in Castle with a three. Cobra without scoring from deep. Castle coming off a 20 point performance where he went two for two for deep as well on nine of 14 shooting overall. That one missed, Asan with the board. Nine point lead, looking to make it double digits. Wilbrock, baseline, won't go. Jones to Maxi. Drive inside, good job with the defense on him. That makes it a seven point difference here in this one. Louisville still leading. Quinn, alley oop to Castle. Nice set up there by the two. 60 to 51, now the score with four minutes just over. To go in the third. Basket there on the inside. As Carter gets the basket, 15 points from him. You see the two scoring leaders. Leader for the Cobras is Carter here so far with 13. Here's Welbrock. Trying to go inside, six seconds on the shot clock. One-handed hook shot will go. It's a nine-point game once again. He himself is 14 points on four and nine shooting overall as we take a timeout. 62-53, we go ahead. 341 left to go in the third. Here on the Global Simulation Sports Network, Jordan Smith here on the call. As Ogmon can't get the basket to fall, but Keto right there for the second chance effort. They keep Honolulu within striking distance, only down by seven. Whitehead spin move inside, won't go a little strong on the shot. Cobra's leading so far here in this one. 
Wasn't always the case though. Honolulu had a commanding at one point. A 20 something to nine lead. I believe like a 24 to nine lead if I'm not mistaken. At one point in the first quarter of play is that one will miss. There's Bradley now with it inside Whitehead. And that one looked to have been deflected on the inside I believe by Keita. Assist from number 10. Armand gets the basket to fall. A five point difference here. Slowly clawing their way, keeping themselves in it. The foul, the shot Ogbon. is called by Ogbon. First It'll be his foul, first the ball game. Foul. Team second of the half. Taking two shots. Two shots coming up here for Bradley. You see there. Six blocks and four steals for Louisville so far. And they did really well in their game against the Goats for Louisville was their interior defense. A lot of blocks and a lot of steals. They've been able to collect a good amount of those since the start of the second quarter. Really, first quarter was a non-factor, but Honolulu's been pretty much doing the same exact thing. See, they're both teams now four for four in the second half from the charity strike. Six seconds on the shot clock. Kita inside, won't go. Can't wait with the board. We'll take it down the court, give it to Bradley, they'll no reset. The two minutes. Just under two minutes left to go in the third here. We fill with the seven point lead as that one's off the mark. He just came with it. And that one locked on the dunk there. Looked like he grabbed the ball from behind and swatted it out. As he'll try for the layup there, won't go. Whitehead gets his own board. That one won't go either. And this time, Evans Jr. gets the rebound. High kiss off the glass, won't work. Here's Bradley now. He'll drive inside. Hook attempt won't work. Lands with the board. Armand hands it off to Evans Jr. One minute left to go in counting. In the third. Inside dish. Easy layup there for Davis. Kane wide open. Somehow just snuck past the defense. It's a five point game. Charging foul will be called on Mitchell. And a turnover here. You see Hungwell will check into the game. As well as Max Seal, he'll check into the ball game as well to replace Evans Jr. Canway will also check in as a foul is called on Bradley. His first to reach in foul now. And some more substitutions. Looks like we're getting all the starters back from each side as Key and Carter will check in for the Koas. And for the Cobras, it'll be Smith and Castle, so pretty much we're almost back at full strength once again. A little bit faster pace on the passes here. Max Seal with the shot from mid-range will go. One possession ball game. 64-61, Castle with it. Covers are smart, they'll hold it for the final possession of the quarter. Eight seconds now. Inside Smith, layup gets it off the glass for two. Number 15. Here's a chance for the Coas to end on a good note. That one won't go in, and that'll do it for the third. The Cobras have a lead, but not by much. Five point lead, 66 to 61. As we head into quarter number four, throw the fours up in the chat. Uh, we come back on the GSSF. Quarter number. 
number four underway in what has been a fantastic ball game thus far. Jordan Smith on the call for the Honolulu Koa and the Louisville Cobras. Here in this one as we get started with a missed shot by Honolulu. Main story has been the resurgence of Louisville since the start of the second quarter. It started with a domination by Honolulu in the first quarter. Honolulu since then has really emerged and has not given up the lead is there. There's a big dunk by Carter. Tried to silence the crowd a little bit. And you see they're posterizing who looks like Wilbrock. Back to a five point difference for a good amount of the ball game since that second quarter. It hasn't been more than a five to nine point difference since the Cobras made their comeback. As Key gets the steal off a laser interception. They try to drive inside, kicks it out to Max Hill instead, who will drive inside. Out there for Carter now, 10 seconds. Dwayne from the top, hits a three with the drop. Two point ball game, 68-66. Fans, we got a good one here in Louisville thus far. Hungwell backs down the defender in key and gets a nice shot to fall for a four point lead. Wayne gets the entry pass and gets the two hander to bring it back to two. It won't go there. I'll try it once again. Here's Max Seal and the Max lead Seale. for Honolulu. First time we've said that in a very long time. And it's now 71 to 70 with 643 left to go in the ball game. And the Cobras take another timeout. They have three remaining as we take a break with them. Folks, if you haven't done so yet, grab some popcorn, find your favorite chair, and enjoy the rest of this one. We've got a great matchup on our hands for this one. Jordan Smith here on the call for this one as we get play set once again. Cobras with the inbound, here's Asan. That one rattles in for three to take the lead right back out of the timeout. You see there's some of the fans on their feet. They try to pump up their team. Crowd getting into it with the defense chance a little bit. Wayne with the shot won't go, what rebound by Welbrock. 6.15 left to go in the ball game. Here's Castle with it on the Good Taste Arena logo. Side low rock and that one fouled by Dwayne. Shooting foul is called, Dwayne does not like the call at all. And two free throws coming up for Wilbrock. Number 20, two shots. Free throw fell there, and that's something that is really going to have to be a key for all of these teams, not just the Cobras and not just Honolulu, as that one doesn't go. Free throw shooting is going to be a premium this Number season five. as Dwayne hits the three to tie things up from the corner. He has 21 tonight. Well, Brock with a two-handed slam. Folks, this is turning into a fun one here. Well, Brock with 17. Carter, alley-oop deflected by Smith, and now grabbed back by Smith. Outside, Castle 
three. Five point ball game, the lead for the Cobras. 5.20 left to go in the ball game. Here's the outside three for Max Seal. That one falls. It's raining threes here in Louisville. Two point separation between the two sides. Castle to Aeson. Inside to Smith. What will the star player do? Outside Wobrock. Off the front of the rim. Off the glass will go. Rebound by Hungwell. Got himself five rebounds in the last game. Did Hungwell as well as six assists. Smith from deep three. That one swishes. Nothing but net. 82-77 the score. Max Seal with the authority on the slam. My goodness. 22 points for him. It is now a career high, granted two games, but nevertheless, inside Hungwell, that one rejected from the side. I believe Jones is the one who had the rejection. Four minutes left to go in the ball game. Here's Carter, backs away, that one rejected. Crowd loving that one. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Carter, one on one with Smith. He'll try to drive inside, off the glass, won't go. Hung well with the board. Pass it across the timeline to Castle. Castle loses it, Max Seal with the steal. Here's Jones to Carter. Hands off to Max Seal. Had the big three earlier, can he get another big shot here? Pass it at the last second, key in and out. Three-point lead still, turnaround shot. That one falls. Walbrock with a rat attack three to make it a six-point lead. Max Seal drives inside. Deflected by Aeson, goes again. Won't go, and Aeson with the board. Louisville trying to slowly put things away here, but Honolulu has put themselves within position to just make a couple of baskets to keep this thing close. Castle Number will 15. get the glass and Number get the basket. Eight point lead for Louisville. Two and a half minutes left to go in this one. Folks, this is a fun one. You hear and see the crowd on their feet and getting loud for their team. Max Seal, baseline. And that one looks like it was stolen out of his hands on the dunk attempt. Castle for three. Got it. Number 13. An 11-point lead now for Louisville. Time out by Honolulu. And what a run here for the Cobras. the big shot made by Castle and he has had himself a night fit for royalty. Either the big three, he has had himself a fantastic night coming off the 20 point performance he had last time out. He has really emerged as pretty much the player of the game here tonight. You see they're on the score bug. One timeout left for Honolulu, two for Louisville. That one timeout for the Co is gonna be huge. And how they manage it in this final 2.05 of the ball game. Jordan Smith here on the call for this one. Tim Carter, looks like it was projected out of his hand as he went in for the slam. And out to Wellbrock. Crowd on their feet here in Louisville. Can the Cobras storm back for a 2-0 record? Wellbrock mid-range, that one falls. See there the shot comparison, averaging 54% for the game are the Cobras. As that one rejected by Hungwell. Here's Aeson with it down the court. He'll hand it off to Castle. 
Can he continue his MVP count at night? Off the mark. One twenty left to go here in this one. Honolulu needs some baskets. They need it now. And Dwayne gives them a basket they desperately needed back to a 10-point difference. This one's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Castle will take his time with it. Here's Asan. Outside Smith. No shot there. Quick defense covering up by Key. But he'll be sliding with the two-hander instead. 20 points for him on 8 of 11 shooting. And that might honestly be the icing on the cake unless they can get a quick three here. Can Dwayne do it again? In and out. Hung well with the board. Here comes Smith. Another basket will put the icing on the cake. LeBrock gets the pick. He'll try to drive inside. Backs up eight seconds. Here's Castle with it. To Hungwell, Asan back to Castle. Two seconds, one second for three. Off the mark. Good amount of time taken off the clock there, and that'll pretty much do it as the Louisville foul is foul called foul. on Wellbrock. Not Number really sure 20. why he's committing first fouls. Personal foul. First two free throws either way for Dwayne. At the line as he will head to the charity strike. Number five. To try to end this game on a high note, shot clock has now been turned off as three subs are going to come oh, into the ball take game. Take a break. Take a break. Honolulu as Two shots. Probably about the same for Louisville just to eat up some garbage time. What a second half performance from both of these teams. Not even just Louisville coming back in the second quarter, but really the entire second half of this ball game has been a hard-nosed back-and-forth matchup. It's for the five players for the Koa get substituted out. Only a couple for Louisville. It has been a hard-fought game for both of these sides. Honolulu will go to one and one on the season as Dwayne makes the second free throw to make it a 10-point game. Cobras will stay high and mighty at the top with a 2-0 record. They're now 2-0 at home to start the season and to start their franchise. Couldn't have asked for a better two-game start at home. If you're the Cobra faithful, 94-84. The final score in this one. Some key shots from Smith, but the main player of the game, without a doubt, Kent Castle. Knocking down big shots and having big time plays on the defensive side when needed. This is Jordan Smith saying so long for the Premier Simulation Basketball League. 94-84, Louisville with the win on the Global Simulation Sports Network.